Over the past several years, there's been a lot of great games that fit into the puzzle genre. From the open world learning experience of The Witness, to the observational horror of Return of the Obra Dinn, grappling with technical systems and efficiency in Zaktronics games, and Unreal Engine, meta mind mangling in Babiju, which I never finished, and the old school wordery of The Case of the Golden Idol, complete with deluxe paint style animations. There's also been a bunch of almost great games that don't quite stack up against the others for a whole variety of reasons. And you can add Keyword, a spider's thread, firmly to the second list. Before we get into it, there's a free demo on Steam, so check it out if you're interested, and I'll try to keep this as spoiler-free as I can, while filling you in on how the game works. It's the near future, and you're a detective whose daughter has gone missing. Finding her would normally be an easy task, but there's a couple of twists to this particular story. Your mental stability is in question, as is much of your past. This gets explored in one of the four methods of gameplay, and we'll get to that. The other issue is that you're subject to a curfew, and so unable to leave your apartment. That restriction forces your first interaction, exploring your home, finding clues that become relevant at certain points during your progress, and discovering methods of reaching out into the world. Since you can't leave, this is crucial. The second type of gameplay helps with this, and will be familiar if you played the Simulacra games. You'll need to use your computer to send and receive information. Browse the web to investigate individuals and companies, check social media for clues disclosed inadvertently, and, of course, use both cunning and reason to hack into accounts other than your own. If you haven't played Simulacra 1 and 2, I guess the third one's okay. They're fantastic horror investigation games where you gradually gain access to someone's smartphone to discover their fate. Although the tech they're simulating is dated, they're cheap, often on sale, and temper their scope and ambition to focus on the strengths of their chosen concept. Something that Keyword thankfully has in common for its third and best method of gameplay. This is it. A clever way of creating a game like this on a limited budget. A whole city to observe and make use of. But the character never has to leave their living room. All kinds of vehicles flit about the dense landscape built from gigantic corporate icons. Countless rooms inhabited by countless people. You can investigate them all if you want, but obviously you'll need to narrow your search to inform what you're doing. And this is the main gameplay loop. Figure out what's relevant using the computer, find ways to observe and interact with the city, and occasionally search around your apartment when it starts to get personal. It all works incredibly well together, with a decent amount of variety to the things you get involved in. But, like I said, there's a fourth aspect to the gameplay that's triggered as you progress. It plunges you into the protagonist's mind and past, so you can figure out the true context of events and your place in them. 
the results are variable. It's at its best when it's directly related to the main game, but also it tries to drag in a heavy amount of mysticism regarding hellish suffering and just shove it in its core, but it all feels like it's far more than this very short game can bear. Because this is the real issue here. A lot of work has clearly gone into this section. Hell, even the voice acting steps up here, whereas previously it was... Didn't Daddy say before that Mommy's an angel? The angels in cartoons all know how to fly. Yeah. It would have been better to spend all of this time, effort and money on shoring up and expanding the main game. It really needs some polish in certain areas and only lasts about two to four hours. So the asking price is a little steep, but certainly worthwhile playing if you can get it on sale. According to this reddit post by someone who seems to be one of the developers, this game was a commercial failure. But lesson learned, right? If somehow they were able to start creating a second game, though there is a second game coming. But lesson learned, right? Restrict your ambitions so resources are focused... Uh... Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> 